Um, I'm actually looking forward to mo going back to film editing. I'm kind of looking forward to doing that, to tell you the truth. But, you know, um, one of the things about, uh, um, you know, if there's a negative to computer editing, it's, like, it's, you know, like everything. There's a negative and a positive or matched up with each other. One of the things about film editing is you, know, you just have tons of holes in your stuff. There's, you know, anytime there's an optical, you've got to do that big line, which, uh, that looks crappy, so anytime you show it to somebody, they don't know what they're looking at. So thus, I almost got rid of all the opticals and reservoir dogs, because I could never have them look okay in the rough cut. Um, but then when you go into computer editing, you can do dissolves, and you can do this, and you can do that, and you can do all that stuff that really makes your film look better. Fortunately, you can do all that stuff. And all of a sudden, you're doing, you know, uh, all of a, you know, you waited, you know, before in the old days. Well, I don't know, but the, uh, I wasn't directing in the old days. But even in the case of uh, of Reservoir Dogs, anything like a dissolve that was a big optical was such a pain in the ass, and it took them so long to get it right that you try to get rid of everyone you could until you have just the last little bit that you absolutely positively needed because that was that would be worth fighting with them to get it right. Well, now you hit a button and then dissolves perfect every single time. So now all of a sudden every movie you watch has 10,000 dissolves in it and you wonder why the film's getting slightly boring. <laughs> Where all these straight cuts just kept moving the movie forward and forward and forward. So uh, I'm, I'm, I even remember, and I actually, don't get me wrong, I actually like uh, uh, Ang Lee's The Hulk. But I did start seeing what looked like them kind of going crazy and in the editing room with all the different things they could do on their machine. And I know what that's like. I know you've got the assistants in the other room and you're working real hard and you finish a scene and it's cool and then you can't wait to bring the assistants in and show it to them and they like it and now you're excited and now you start working on another scene. And so you keep doing more things to it to make it all the more exciting for them and, and boom, there you go. And then next thing you know, you got the Hulk. <laughs> and, um, and I'm watching it and all of a sudden they have triple screens and five screens and this and I go, Sally, you got to watch the Hulk, man. We got to be real. Well, I was doing Kill Bill. We got to be really careful, man. That got way too busy. All right. Uh, we're not even talking about Speed Racer. All right. Uh, and uh, which I kind of likes too. But uh, but the thing is, like, Sally went and saw the movie, went and saw the Hulk, and came back. She goes, "Oh my God, Quinn, we've got to be so careful. We've got to be so careful." <laughs> Because we were just starting to, you know, Kill Bill is a movie you could do that kind of thing with. <laughs> so we were just maybe starting to get ramped up to do that kind of shit. And we go, okay, let's calm down. Let's kind of treat this like a movie.